Good morning everyone and welcome to our backyard. In today's video I would like to talk about Lantana. Lantana is such a wonderful flower for the pollinator garden here in the south. It is just a pollinator workhorse. So I have Lantana in uh, three, four different spots in the yard and I really feel like I don't have enough Lantana. I don't think I've, I ever can have enough Lantana. My name is Crystal and I garden south of Houston in zone nine along the Texas Gulf Coast. We have hot and very humid climate, have a hot and very humid climate, and we typically can get a lot of rain, and it just is a subtropical climate. We also have pretty heavy clay soil. So that's the conditions that our gardens are in down here. The challenge is, is plants really can be challenged by the heat of our summer because we certainly get high, high, high temperatures. This summer, you know, we hit 100 degrees a few times, but last summer we had weeks on end of 100 degrees, which really, and then the humidity. So when we even have intense temperatures and humidity where our heat indexes get to be, in the upper one teens to one twenties, it just really, really is difficult on the plants. But I tell you, Lantana is a champ under really difficult conditions. So let me share with you, as what you're seeing is this Lantana is just blooming gorgeously right now. And I do have favorites in the Lantana world. Lantana is not native to our area here in, in the Houston area or south of Houston. So I think there is a native Lantana. I do not have a native Lantana. What I have is sterile Lantana. And what you're looking at here is the sterile Lantana. And I'm gonna show you the tag here. This is from the Bloomify series. It is a sterile and mounding lantana. So why is a sterile lantana good? Well, lantana camera is invasive in parts of the United States because it sets seeds everywhere. Birds can carry off and that can be a menace. Uh, sterile lantana does not set seed and it just then focuses on creating these blooms it does not focus on trying to create and set the seed and it will bloom 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 and i absolutely love this this um, series of lantana and i'm going to show you the back side of the of the tag it doesn't stop flowering and I can tell you that it doesn't. It doesn't multiply, it doesn't create seeds, etc. It does need full sun. Lantana is that full sun that um, just thrives in the full sun. What you will notice is if it is in full sun, let's say on a southern facing, um, further, southern facing exposure, you can see a little bit of wilt in the afternoon if it is very high temperatures. Let's say you're 100 or over and it has enough water. It just, it will wilt a little bit in the afternoon, but don't think it needs more water. If you're watering adequately, just realize that will do that. And as soon as the sun is off of it, they perk right back up. So it does show medium watering. Spacing is 10 to 12 inches and the height is 12 to 14 inches. Well, down here in the south, especially where we're at, we have such a long growing season that that is not the case. So 
this lantana is um, a minimum golly it comes up to my chest right here this is probably easily four feet tall the reason uh, and second reason why i love this lantana is it has a mounding habit and if you are familiar with lantana typically they sprawl and so they'll grow like this you know and sprawl all out and they can go up to six feet with the runners i do not like that in my garden certainly there's applications where that is wonderful and folks that have the space that works really really good but for me i much prefer this mounding type so let me go show you the other that i have so over in a shadier area of my garden, I have just a regular lantana camera in a container and I severely have cut this back. This is pretty much in the shade. It gets a little bit of morning sun and it will bloom some. You can see it will bloom a little bit, but I cut this all the way back basically to the ground and this is just a regular type. I have not had the heart to get rid of it because lantana is such a huge producer and the pollinators really come to it. But look what it does. This is sprawling and it sprawls way out. This is easily four feet and it could be up. I mean, it just gets six, seven feet that it just sprawls all out. And I don't care for this habit because it doesn't mound it doesn't necessarily look good it just and just sprawls all out so this is typically the lantanas that you will get in your garden centers and some folks get very disappointed because they don't like how this grows and i can absolutely hear you because i don't like it either so this mounding lantana is my absolute favorite and this color is called a rose I'm gonna bring in the tag and this rose is just like the red when it comes out the umbral here has like a orangey peachy color to it and then it matures into this gorgeous rose color so it is multiple colors on the same plant this is probably one of my more favorite colors and i see my hummingbirds on it daily you'd think golly are hummingbirds interested in this tiny little flower they are they come to lantana We've got still quite a few hummingbirds coming through, especially the females and the juveniles, and they're all over my flowers, whether it's a salvia or a kufia or the cardinal climber. You know, they'll, they, they just are loving all of these flowers, but I, in particular, really appreciate having lantana because lantana is also very friendly to butterflies in our zone 9 garden this lantana is a perennial so if it freezes it will die to the ground and then it will come back start coming back in the spring it's not necessarily one of the first to break ground but it's also not one of the last. And we did have a freeze last winter and it, as you can see, it's huge here. And it did freeze to the ground and this is just this growth in one season. I did have a little bit of an issue on this side and you can see how well this lantana is flowering we had hurricane barrel come through in the early parts of july and it broke off some of the lantana on this end and this isn't flowering as much but it, you can see it's growing it did flatten some of it those that didn't break it did flatten kind of rerouted some of the stems 
and it's not flowering as gorgeously as the established more established plant because this has had longer growth period but it's still flowering really really wonderfully down here and growing and I'm just so happy with how resilient this plant is so for a butterfly gardener and last year I did a video saying I don't have enough lantana in my yard I've not put in any more but I still feel the same way because when I watch the behavior of the pollinators this flower is one that just shines months and months and months throughout our growing season. Back here I have a container of one lantana plant and some pink pentas. Pentas is another plant I can never have enough of. But the lantana I have tried, and I have tried many different types of lantana, and without a doubt, I can tell you, not all grow well down here in the south. And so I do want to caution you for that. And when I say well, I mean they might not be perennials and come back. It might just be an annual. I have purchased quite a few of the Luscious series lantana from Proven Winners and they do not return or they have not returned for me. So I have found I prefer plants that are hardy to our region and that are successful in flowering like you can see here and then returning. I am not the type of person who likes to, gardener who likes to plant a lot of different annuals while annuals are gorgeous i much prefer to have a bloom that lasts in the pollinator garden for months and also that will return if we do freeze so i do want to caveat that because there are a lot of beautiful lantana colors out there and a lot of gorgeous plants, but they don't necessarily function how I want lantana to function in my butterfly and hummingbird garden down here in zone nine in very hot and humid conditions. So I have not found this Bloomify series at the garden centers all year long. In fact, I typically only see it, it gets snapped up pretty quickly. And I only see it in the spring and midsummer. So when I have seen it, I have snapped it up because this rose lantana, I had four plants of the rose and now I think I only have two because I think my Greg's mist flower over here smothered my other two so i am very much on the lookout when i find this i like to get a plant or two so i have this in my garden it's such a winner and such a wonderful performer really all throughout the year so what do you think of lantana in your garden Definitely look for either the mounding type or the sprawling regular type of lantana. Look at how its growth pattern and then also look to see if it's sterile or not because you probably don't want to go around and have a lot of seed set, especially outside of your yard. You've got a honeybee here, really interested in one of the umbrels here that hadn't opened yet. Hmm. Well, thank you for joining me. I'm curious to know what you think about Lantana and if you've had success in your gardens. Well, I hope you have a great day today.
and I hope to see you again soon.